All right, YouTubers, this is the follow-up video from my last night's video of showing you the six-pound papaya that I cut up and scraped out the papaya seeds. I want to bring uh, us up to speed from where we left off from that video. Okay, so last night after doing that, we put them directly into the toaster oven right here. And I put it in at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes or so. That's just to dry out the papaya seeds. Obviously, it's a fruit. It comes from really, it's, it was really wet and moist at the time. So I wanted to dry them out so that I could get them into this coffee grinder here, which you can get at Target or Costco or Walmart, Walmart, um, or on Amazon, anywhere on the internet for about 10, 15 bucks. Here's a little top to it. So we grind them up. Um, you can let them sit out on a paper towel overnight if you'd like to, um, but you know, you, you grind them up and then this is what they look like after they're ground up. Um, I have the plastic wrap over it, you know, just to keep it preserved. But as you can see here, if I get this plastic wrap off, so you can see up close, that's basically what they look like. You want to try and get the papaya fruit out of there, we just want the seeds here. So um, once you've done that, you want to use about a tablespoon of a dosage at a time. You can do about three doses a day. There's a tablespoon right there. Um, and then I did this about an hour and a half ago. It is Monday morning, June 3rd, 2013. And I'm good now, but for the first 45 minutes or an hour after I did it, I was on the toilet three or four times going number two. Um, obviously, number two works for uh, the parasites uh, because a lot of stuff came out and it did not smell good. It smelled worse than my normal number twos, leading me to believe that I did actually get some of these parasites out that might be living in your GI tract and in your intestinal walls. They might have buried a nice little home there with their nice little mate and had lots of little babies there. So hopefully I just got a lot of those out. I feel like I did. Um, if this sounds very foreign to you, if you're not familiar with, with uh, parasites and, and this type of stuff, if it sounds like BS, bad science to you, then I would definitely challenge you to read this book right here called Parasite Rex by Carl Zimmer. It was written in 2000 and it will blow your mind as to all the different types of parasites that could be living in you uh, you definitely have at least one parasite in you. They could be in your brain, your lungs, they could be in your GI tract, they could be in your anus, they could be in all sorts of places. Um, different species have different types of places they live in. Some are so tiny that they actually live in your red blood cells, which if you're not familiar how small it is, that's really, really tiny. Uh, some parasites are the size of a red blood cell. And some, uh, like a tapeworm uh, parasite, uh, could actually be 40 feet long. You know, you have a GI tract of about 60 feet that goes from your mouth all the way through to where it comes out in your anus. So uh, these things can grow about a foot a year. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, there's a parasite specialist uh, that I know of named Dr. Robert Kassar. He's a chiropractic doctor now focusing on parasitology. And I personally believe that... Um, parasitology will be big news in the next decade and moving forward. So uh, most people have heard of malaria. Uh, it's a big problem in Africa still to this day, but not really a problem here in America where I live in, in California in the Bay Area. Uh, however, most people know that you know you have mosquitoes that start the process of, of malaria, but most people don't know. I didn't know until I started learning this information that it's actually the parasite that comes through the mosquito and the parasite's what cause, causes malaria. So because of vaccines, we've been able to treat this in the first world country, but these are parasites that are doing this. And there's billions, literally billions of other types of parasites where discovering that all of life on the planet, probably about three quarters of life is parasites. So they're everywhere, they're in everything, they're even in plants, but um, you have a lot of them in you. A lot of them are sucking your energy. Like I said, they can actually be in your red blood cells, destroying them from within. Um, so we want to help get them out. There's natural, cheap ways to do this, so that's why I made this video. And if you did not see the first video from last night, check that out first about the uh, papaya seeds. All right, thanks. This is Brent, and I'm out.